Hey YouTube, Simtask here. We're kicking off the first video and explaining the details and rules of how I'm going to do the giveaways in the future. Uh, first off, uh, when I start pulling a income out of YouTube, I'm going to put toward 50% of everything I earn weekly toward a weekly giveaway. That's when the income and the money starts coming. But the big one is is that when I reach 10,000 subs, I made a promise and I'm going to stick to it that I'm giving away my loadout. My loadout is sitting at a value of about 680-ish right now. It will be closer to 800 when it's finished. I'm missing two skins. I'm missing the AK, which is going to be somewhere between 40 and 50 bucks. And I'm missing the Zeus, which is going to be somewhere between 80 I'm not too sure about that back values. I'm not going to stress myself out about it right now, but the loadout will be complete by the time I hit 10. Uh, the AK I should be getting actually today or tomorrow. Uh, the rules of the giveaway is going to be that it's going to go to the first 10,000 subscribers. If you're 10,001, I'm sorry. It's just what it is. I want to keep it you know, fair to the first 10,000. Uh, I'm going to need you to subscribe, smash that like button, and leave a comment to every video I post or stream, if that's what I do, uh, because I will be using a comment picker for YouTube to pick out a uh, thousand subscriber comments. Uh, I choose a thousand because this is a big giveaway, and you know everybody's got to get a chance, or at least 10% of the subscribers is going to get a chance uh, unless I can find a way to do a random subscriber picker I have not looked into that if there's a random subscriber picker out there I will put all 10,000 of you in that giveaway on the roll uh, that being said we're going to try our best to do what we can I am not a professional at this I'm not a very good speaker uh, you'll probably very rarely hear me do like these commentary type videos. You'll prob you'll hear me talking while I'm playing, but very rarely will you hear me do commentary. What's going to help with the speaking, though, is, is I'm thinking about leaning more towards streaming on YouTube. That way, while I'm playing, I can read the chat and actually actively talk to my chat. Because sitting here like what I'm doing now and just speaking to what feels like no one feels awkward to me. Uh, but, you know, we are starting fresh. This isn't something that I normally do, and we are going to try to make a career out of this. Uh, I will be doing videos for other games, you know, like, um, like currently I've been playing Shadow of War, fantastic game with its ne nemesis system with the orcs. Uh, I suggest anybody to go check it out. Uh, it's a fun game, long playthrough, very high replay value. Uh, if I'm playing a game such as that, uh, even at the beginning of the video for that game, I will be announcing the giveaways that I'm doing that's going to be for Counter-Strike skins. All my giveaways are going to be probably Counter-Strike skins or uh, gifted games on Steam, whatnot. Mostly Counter-Strike skins. But we are going to move on into looking at the loadout that I'll be giving away. First, th first thing is is that the loadouts theme is factory new stat track blue. There are things in here that's questionable whether they're blue. We'll get over that when we get there. Uh, everything is factory new. Everything is stat track if it's stat track is available. The only thing that's not factory new is the gloves. Uh, gloves are expensive. If I had $700 to throw at gloves, I would throw them out there but that like factory new gloves would be the value of the entire loadout uh, that's later down the future if I you know making some money on YouTube I'll probably give away factory new gloves because I'm a thankful person and I'm very giving so like if I'm earning good money on YouTube I'm going to stick to my guns and say that 50% is my minimum. I, I might go higher. I might do bigger giveaways later down the line, but 50% of 
my income toward YouTube per week is going to go toward a weekly giveaway. Uh, I do hope to get sponsored for giveaways, but uh, that sponsorships to me is uh, how you. I don't want to be sponsored just to be sponsored. So uh, there's a YouTuber that I watch named Fozzy. He is sponsored by Skinport. Fantastic YouTuber, fantastic content. Uh, I like the idea of Skinport. Skins are cheaper buying out from the outside sources. But uh, I like to do things by the book. I like to buy my skins through Steam as, you, as you're supposed to, not through an outside source. Uh, Steam is a bit greedy on their... Uh, value on how much they take but you know they got to make their money somewhere I guess we're gonna get off that but anyways back to the gloves gloves are field tested if you're looking at them right now you can see some wear on them but they're not bad they're actually quite good looking gloves for being one of the cheaper ones we're on their mid grade for field test or yeah field tested uh, the knife uh, one of the cheaper factory new stat tracks that you can get. Uh, there were cheaper ones, uh, but I don't always want the cheapest. I'm not. That's not the whole idea. Is just to make the cheapest loadout possible and kind of like skip out. I like to go for things that I like. Uh, not so much a fan of the Brightwater pattern, but I love the Huntsman knife. This is my favorite knife of all the knives in the game. Uh, bayonet is up there too. I am an American. I am a veteran. I love my big guns. I love my big knives. Things like stilettos and flip knives. Anything that can fit in your pocket. Yeah, I just I don't want it. I don't want it. Don't like it. So that's why we stuck with a huntsman. Huntsman also has one of the best. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna do it. Uh, has one of the best draw animations. I don't know why it's not showing it, but uh, picks up a knife, spins it in the air, catches it. Uh, to me, I, I like that draw animation. And then also, the bright water and the polygon gloves fit really nice together. USPS, not as dark blue as the gloves, but also, it's blue but it's also one of my favorites that I got. Uh, reason why is I like my skin simple. I don't like the graffiti look on the skins too much, so I like to try to get the more simple skins. This is one of the more simple skins, and I believe that this is one of the most beautiful skins that I own. 50 on the other hand, not so much. It's not the worst. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a lot worse out there for my, my opinion. The handle doesn't match the gloves too well, but when your character closes the, closes his hand and holds the gun up front, I believe that matches fairly well. Uh, does fit the blue, does fit the theme. The dullies, Urban Shock. These are fantastic. They are beautiful. They fit the gloves nice. They have a nice shine to them for me. I know they're not quite the same color as the gloves, but just I like looking at them these are beautiful. It's sad that I don't use them too much in the game. As you see, they only got one kill on them. But I really do, like, if if there was any dual guns that I was ever going to own in real life that was going to be uh, dipped, uh, I would like them to look close to this. Uh, these, I think, are just absolutely beautiful. Now to my ugliest skin. Oh. Uh, yeah. Not much to say about this one. Uh, Deagle should not look like garbage, but there is lack of options for blue. Uh, as you see, this is a factory new, but I see wear on the grip, or on the yeah, finger grip, trigger, as I'm trying to get that out, and the handle's also not blue. But I, why is this a skin? Anyways, uh, this is... I don't use deagles anyways, as you see I only got one kill on it. Uh, the front of it just looks garbage. Looks like a 
I don't know about this up here, but the handle looking at it from this way looks like a prison outfit. Um, same thing for the back. But anyways, it's blue. It fits the theme. It's... That's it. It's, it's a diggle. I'm sorry, but that's what we got. Same thing for the revolver. It is blue on the handle. The engravings on the... I actually think this skin looks beautiful. But as for the theme... It's questionably, I guess, not one of my favorites, and as you see, I don't use it, I don't even have a kill on it. But, you know, you can't have a, a complete loadout without buying a skin for everything. Nova, also, complete garbage, ugly gun. Um, this one, I promise to change. Uh, this is like a dollar something, almost two dollars for a factory new stat track, windblown. It is blue, it does fit the theme, uh, doesn't really match the gloves, but I'm going to upgrade to a Tempest later on. Uh, so this is what it's going to be in the spot later. Uh, I don't have the money for that right now, I'm 50 bucks. Uh, but I will change this to the Tempest. It looks much better with the gloves. It the wind blown is just gross. MP7 on the other hand, oh, one of my favorites. Uh, I love the shine on it. I love the fit to the gloves. Everything. It's not the same blue, but the contrast of the two it fits so well. Uh, also. Uh, I use this gun as my eco gun a lot on CT side because CTs have it hard with economy and I suggest to everybody to pick a sub submachine gun and get good with it. This was my choice uh, and this is where we're going with but I absolutely love this gun and it would be hard to see it go away. MP5, on the other hand, I believe is a beautiful skin in a way, but it's also questionable whether it's blue, because looking at it from this angle, it is red. Blue, red. But, uh, lack of options. Another thing, but a gun that I don't, don't use too much. Uh, it's the same price as the MP7. The MP7 to me is a better gun. But, this is blue. It's the theme. The XM, also not a good looking gun to me. The XM, this is also, they're all factory new, but on the handle here you see wear. I uh, don't like guns where you see the wear that bad. Also, it is not the right blue to fit the gloves, but we also have lack of options or uh, the other blue options were just out of the budget range at the time. If there is a better one out there, uh, I will change it. If I can, if I think it's better, uh, but there is right now, it's it's a it's a funding issue, and, and it's like you know I had to find something to fit the slot. It's blue, factory new. We're moving on. P90. Uh oh, I think this gun is absolutely beautiful. Of, of the shine on it, the engravings. It's just a great looking gun to me. Uh, but it is questionable whether it fits the blue theme. Looking at it right now, to me, it looks blue. And like it passes. It's blue, fits theme, it's factory new. But then when you put it in your hand, it starts looking green. Uh, there might be other options out there, but we're going to go with this one for now. If there's something better, I might change it. But I believe this is the best choice that there was, uh, regardless of how much money you want to put into it. M4. Just got this gun yesterday. Same as the the, the USPS. It's a Guardian. Same pattern. Uh, not the same kind of blue as what's on your gloves, but I like the simpler skins. There is another one out there, uh, the M4 A1S Nightmare, I believe, that is a better blue for the gloves, but it's a graffiti type skin and I don't really like the skins it has got too much graffiti on them I like the simpler skins this is why I chose this one uh, I'll, 
to state this, uh, my favorite M4 skin of all time is the Atomic Alloy. Uh, if I ever get one of those, it's, it, I'm keeping it. But this one, this is what we got for this loadout. I think it is a beautiful skin. Fits the loadout well. Looks decent in the hand. Looks decent in front of the CT because he's got a bluish tint to him. And that's what we got. The AUG, also a beautiful skin. Nice engravings. Shows no wear whatsoever anywhere that I can see. Uh, just a good pattern, good skin. I don't use it too much. It's expensive in the game, and uh, CT's economy's always trashed. Uh, this gun is circumstantial to me on using it. Uh, if I'm going to buy a rifle, I'm most likely just going to buy an M4. That being said, you have to, you know, for the theme to complete the loadout, you got to get something, and I believe this was a perfect choice. Scout SSG. Um, not a bad skin to me. It is one of the cheaper ones. It's blue. It looks nice holding it in your gloves. Uh, it's not too much to say about the pattern. Uh, it's not graffiti, so it, it's not really upsetting me too much to look at it. I do believe this is a good looking skin, even the cheaper one. What this gun does have for me is, is it's not the skin, it's the gun that uh, I was a veteran, or am a veteran. Um, I was a computer engineer, uh, networker, whatever in the Army, but I was also trained in medium range sharpshooting, and my gun of choice was the SSG. Uh, it's light, it's got long range, uh, pretty much mount anything on it as a scope. Uh, there's a couple of the bigger ones that made the gun a bit top heavy, because it is a lighter gun, but uh, the gun. It just holds a special place in my heart because that was my rifle that I carried everywhere on my back when I was in the army. The op. Now, the op has got some controversy to it. Um, there are other blue options for the op, but I, as I said, I don't like the graffiti skins too much, and the op, the only blue options that you got is just, they look like spray painted graffiti, not my style this gun we question whether it's blue because looking at it right here, to me it's blue it, it, it is blue but then when you turn it sideways or when you see it in hand, it's got a purple to it I believe the skin is, is absolutely gorgeous I uh, love the engravings on it. I really do wish that it was it held a better blue color to it when you held it this way, instead of the purple. But we are going with this one, and we are sticking with this one in the loadout. Not much to say about it. I don't use op too much. This one, ah, the blueprint. Never used it. I've had it for a while now, but I've never used it. This gun looks great in the hand. Uh, the only thing I can really say about this gun is, is that uh, it is beautiful for the loadout, it fits really nice. Uh, if you are a cheesy kind of player and you want to buy a auto sniper, this will be the auto sniper that you'll get with the loadout. I don't use it, might in the future, but not my thing. But it is a beautiful skin, and it does fit the loadout. Now, for the T-side weapons, most of them are duplicates. Uh, this gun, not one of my favorites, but there was lack of options. Definitely blue, definitely fits the theme. Doesn't match the gloves too well, but it is what it is, and that's what we got. Stugat. Ice cap. This one uh, is blue, does fit the theme, does fit the gloves fairly well. This one is one of the original skins that I've had since CSGO. I've probably had this skin six, seven years. Uh, factory new, stat track. I, I, it was one of my personal skins that I've had for that long. Uh, 
it just fit the theme didn't have to replace it this is what we got this is what we're going for what else do we got here uh, the Galil my favorite skin uh, out of all the skins that I own this one is my favorite uh, fits the gloves nicely not as blue as the gloves but I do believe the contrast of the two different blues fits well I do love the shine on the gun I use the Galil religiously uh, I have not been very accurate with AK I don't use AK too much uh, for me the price value of the two guns is, is that I would rather have more ammo with the Galil that have the AK that to me is harder to aim I do know that the AK is a one shot kill to the head even with armor but I like to be the entry fragger and the entry fragger usually has to go in and spray and pray and the glill is exactly that uh, what is it? I just love this skin uh, this is also one of the skins that I've had for seven eight nine years or something like that hard to get rid of it because I have owned it for a very long time now the kill counter is low that's because uh, from going from CS go to CS2 the the counter for the stats did not move over or I traded it to myself from one account to another I don't know but I do know that I have owned this very skin this this one for I'm not sure it's been a long time. AK. Um, you know, we're going to look at the default AK. This is not what you're getting in your your giveaway. What you are getting is a factory new stat track blue laminate. I have one basically on the ready. Uh, I'm just waiting for a sell to go through on Steam. Well, it, the sells already went through, but I've got pending money. I should be getting the AK today or tomorrow. It will be a blue laminate. And not a very good looking skin, but lack of options. Aloha. Absolutely ugly. Now, it is blue. Looks kind of decent in the hand. Another gun that I do not do not use. Because why would I spend the money to get this when I can just buy an AK or a glue? But uh, this was another one that was a lack of options. Wasn't too many other choices to find a blue SG. But it does look decent in the hand. And it looks like a goth Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> one of my favorites. That is pretty much it. Also, the the player skins are going too. Uh, I might change them to match the theme better. As this guy, he already looks blue, but there is another one that's got a like a blue visor that's better. And this guy, there isn't a blue option for terror side. But the reason why I got the rebel is because he is the old school skin. He's been in Counter-Strike since I think 1.3, maybe came out in 1.6. Uh, definitely, like, when I saw this game, I was like, I had to get it, because I've been playing Counter-Strike since basically its birth back in 2001, 2002. And somewhere early on, they, uh, the player models that you can get, this was one of them. And I do like the, the fact that this is the same guy, Rebel, and they made him look 20 years older because the last guy didn't have the beard and anything like that. He does have the sunglasses, but he does not have the beard. And this guy looks like he's leathered up a little bit. He's aged. Still looks good, though. He's aging well. Also, the last thing is the Zeus. Uh, we'll be getting a Zeus factory new Star Trek Zeus. Uh, not my favorite thing. The reason why I don't have it is because I don't use it. Uh, I think the tasers are completely ridiculous and they should have never been added to the game. The reason why is because people use the taser and you run around a the corner, they tase you, and then they flex on you in the chat. Oh, 
yay, you, you killed me with something that can kill you in one hit shooting me anywhere. You can shoot my big toe and drop me in one hit. Uh, me, if you're going to flex on someone, a knife to the back is the way to do it, not a taser to the face. So that's why I don't have the, ta the Zeus yet. It will be in the loadout, but it's not something that I'm rushing for at the moment. So that's all the skins that we're going to be giving away in the 10,000 sub giveaway in that entire load up there. Um, we are going to wrap up this video and I'm going to start getting some games in before it gets too late in the day. I've got a lot to do today, but I need to start doing these videos and I'm, I'm going to stick to my guns and we're going to get this done. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it wasn't, you know, fun, but hopefully it was informative and gets everybody motivated to smash that like and subscribe button and get my career in YouTube moving forward because honestly uh, gaming's my thing I'm playing games my entire life uh, I am in my mid 40s now and I've been working warehouses and, and it, nice paying jobs but I just I'm, I'm tired of breaking my back I want to sit here and do something that I love and playing video games is exactly what I want to do uh, so we are going to, like I said, we're going to use Counter Strike as the as the base to, to to give to my community with the giveaways. But I will be playing other games, but all games will be sponsored by my giveaway Counter Strike. Anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the videos. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Let's get this moving forward, and I hope to see everybody in the future.